What's up, everybody? My name is Braskus, and welcome back to Senua's, well, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I don't know where we are. I know it's super creepy. I know we got our new sword. They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. And I know this shit's going on, but that's all I know. Come on. Take a swing. Give me your best shot. <clears throat> Woohoo! Hi! I can take you out the old fashioned way. Nope! Don't need to focus. I want to save the focus for when the big scary guys come in. Against these kind of guys. Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Stay here and rot. The corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the sea of corpses. This looks... Combat? Do you hear oh, the yeah. suffering, Senua? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood run cold on your skin? No, you Do don't. Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. I because haven't done anything. You because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the Father Zimbel, you turned your back on the gods uh -oh. and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Oh boy. Okay. No time. <clears throat> Just take him out. Okay, good. Look out. Okay, we're all right. We can do this. Oh. You're really big. Jesus, he's huge! Is this like one of the- this is like the giant guy that I dealt with out in the gate. Okay, come on. We're going. Oh, shoot. Focus. That's fine. Oh, okay. Going to end you right now. Who else? Okay, I gotta be careful because I don't have a focus built up, so I need to do this <clears throat> carefully. There we go. Nope! <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Tear apart this asshole with the shield. Uh oh. Where did I come from? I hope this is the right way to go. Do you hear? Do you hear the voice of your mother, Galina? She calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. I need you. Help me. There she is. Darkness oh. Life and it will take. You both surrendered to the monster. Your dear beloved, I was powerless against the darkness when it came forth. 
We're not leaving mom to die here. She too had a sight. She too doubted the gods and let the darkness infest her. But she didn't love you. She escaped the only way she knew how. She gave her life to the gods. Not gonna happen. If only you had done the same. I don't know the gods anything. The world would have been spared this horror. Don't think I don't it's notice how insane it sounds, by the way. <clears throat> That I'm talking back to the voices I'm hearing. Why don't you join her? Oh, jeez. Haha! <laughs> Fuck you. Finish this. You're gonna go down right now, pal. And you're following. Not gonna happen, guys. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, we need to uh, start eliminating guys here. Go for this one. Okay, this is getting difficult. Come on, we're not gonna die here. We're not dying here. On your feet. Wanna bet? Oh, crap. No, I'm not dying now. On your feet! Okay. Take one out, move on to the next. You're going to die right now. I have not died to an enemy in this game yet. I'm not starting now. Oh, great. <clears throat> Just keep ripping him pieces. Tear him apart. Okay. Oh, I'm focusing so hard. Yes! The end is in sight. I haven't died, even though it was a really close call. That was the wrong button that I just hit. Take him down. Who's left? There. All right, you want to fight? Let's fight. Trying so hard not to die here. There are so many of them. That one is. You're the only one left. Well, no, you're not. There's a guy right behind you. Ow. Oh my god, there are so many of them! Oh. 
And these guys are the worst. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, he's done, which means it's just the shield guy. I hope. Oh my god, do I hope. Look out. Okay, we got this. We can do it. Oh, how many more of you do I have to deal with? No! I do not deserve. If the dark is what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Why are you? I will not go quietly into the dark. Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends, oh my God. to his father. <laughs> Stop that! Oh boy. Kill the big guy, and then start working on the little guys. Big hit! Jeez. We made it through! That was the longest fight sequence I think I have had to do in this game yet. Whoa, Eye of the Storm going on right here. Let's see if we can leave the sea of corpses. You both surrendered to the voices. The darkness has taken you, Galena and Sith. Does it look like I've surrendered? I haven't surrendered anything. I am not giving up on this. There has to be a way out. Up to the mountaintop, apparently. Oh, okay. I can still hear her, too. I can hear her yell crying on the wind. Not a fan of creeping around the fingers, to be honest. Too nervous that one of them. That's a that's an arm I'm crawling on. Okay. There's my mother again. Maybe she'll have something to say. I can't fight it anymore. Not on my own. Where are you, mother? I want to be with you. That night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Can't give up on Dillion. We're not done yet. There he is. calling for me. You 
I've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Sounds like Zim Zimbal's a dick. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Ooh. Good point. Do you still believe in me, Senor? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us. Looks like we've escaped from the sea of corpses. <clears throat> he gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. And I guess now it's off to Helheim. have work to do. <clears throat> yeah. Looking at that structure never gets old. I'm just hoping that at some point we get to, I don't know, go atop it, go inside it. I guess we probably do now. That's where the gate was, was back through all of these boats. Are you the friendly voices or the ones who are going to tell me I'm going the wrong way and doing the wrong stuff? Because I kind of like the ones that, you know, encourage me and say, she has to do it. She's doing the right thing. That's the right way. And that that uh, warn me when something is about to attack me from behind. I just don't like the ones who are constantly ragging on me. We've only died once so far. Oh, right over here. I know, I know. Okay, I don't like these voices anymore. Especially the one in my left ear. That one's not a nice one. No, I don't miss that. Those voices are nice. I'm not listening. Yeah, but we kind of are. We, we, we found the gate. Oh, good. Into the mountain. <laughs> hey, look, I got an achievement that's actually called Into the Mountain. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. I recognize that name. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. 
and from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature, a dragon. You know, this game has a habit of talking to me about certain things and then making me fight them. Do I have to fight with Fafnir? Because that'd be intriguing. I'm looking for more story stones. I don't try not to leave them behind if I can help it. I don't think there's any here, though. Wait. All right. We're opening the door. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And if Garm. you are here, Senua, it can smell your stink. Garm is a wolf, wasn't he? What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you were too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Okay, I'm going to assume that. The beast is okay. You from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Uh oh. So I'm supposed to run from light source to light source, I guess. Okay, here's hoping this is the right way to go. Or am I gonna die here? Ah, the torch. Okay. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, they okay. want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? Who's coming? Turn around. She escaped the darkness. Ah. She took her own life to escape it. Find the runes. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Okay. Her eyes gazing past her. Can I light this? She could not see. I'd like to light that. This is what happens if you reach for the end of the world. He said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill okay. of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now. Maybe Zinbel was her doesn't. father. Okay, I'm gonna light every one of these I come across. For a couple of reasons. First of all, I need the light source. I feel safer having multiple light sources. Oh boy. And for another, if for some reason my torch goes out, I need somewhere to to come back to. Um and also it's helpful for marking the path so I know where I am am and where I've been. Okay, so this just loops back around. Where's this one go to? We're looking for a place that we can find that rune. Light him up. That's creepy. Can 
Can I go through this? No. It's locked from the other side. Does this one just go in a big old square? That's what I think it's doing so far. No way down that way. Well, there was another door back this way. Two more, really. One on each side. This one's probably locked too. Yep. Okay. Then we're going that way. Right? Yes, no other doors. Okay. Always these places in the dark. Uh, how far up does up go? I don't see any torches or anything I can light. She hasn't got much time. No, she's not. She's running at full speed. Uh, ah, here's one. Okay, good. We're fine. See? We're fine. But somewhere in here... Oh, duh. Right there. And this one I can open from this side. Okay, good. Open it up. Can't get through that one, though. Okay. Has maybe one of the other doors opened up? God, stop talking in my ears! Extremely unnerving. Oh, we didn't go through this way, did we? Like, I went left and right and I checked those, but I didn't go down the staircase here. There's another torch there at the end. Yes, it will. 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 Oh my god! Hi! Screw you, douche. Oh, ow. torch. Okay, there was one right here I wanted to light. That was the whole reason I was moving forward. Oh, okay. We'll be alright. There's another one over here. Yeah, if I keep lighting torches, I should be able to stay away from the shadows. Another one over here. Light them all up. Now, I'd be willing to bet that somewhere up above me is probably an area casting a shadow. Or... Something's around here. Oh, there on the floor. The blood. She has it. She did it. She's done it. This place. Okay. It reminds her of the isolating suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Okay, so where's the one I missed? The faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. There's no way down, right? Like, I'm not crazy? No. 
That's what children say all the time, oh. isn't it? Oh, I need to go back to that first door. There was a the way up and a way down. In the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them. You need to go this the way. Zimbel. Could see the monster in her. Only this time we go below. Well, don't stop. Oh, yeah. As long as the torch stays lit, we ought to be okay, right? Where do we go? Shit. Okay, we gotta move. I am going as quick as I can. I just gotta get to the light there. Okay, but now the torch is out, and we just have to run from light source to light source. Oh, Jesus. Don't stop. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. No. We can't stay in the light. We have to keep moving. Move from source to source. Okay, there's fire over there. We have to get a new torch to light this so that we can find our rune. And, you know, stay alive. Okay, run over the board. To the light. One more. Okay, new torch. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, I'm... Assuming that's probably the way out. We don't want to go that way yet. Actually, I do want to go that way first. There might be a story thing up here. And if it is the way out, then I can always come back and I'll just open it up first. That looks like the way out. And a story stone! <laughs> I'm not crazy. Well, actually, I am very much crazy. Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rayan reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. Okay. So back into the dark. Let's start lighting up the torches. To hold the darkness at bay. And I'd imagine that, like the other one, there's going to be several places I have to light for this to work. So just keep finding torches and lighting them up. Wasn't there one back here? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Back that way there might be. Yep, right here. God, the bones everywhere do not make me feel better about this. Stop talking to me. I know they're around. Right there. In the water, reflected. Come on, I can do this. It's right here. There we go. Okay. The beast is crawling into your mind. Searching for weakness. They found your mother, and used her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Okay. 
Okay. And there's nowhere else to go. I have to keep advancing. Whether my mom is here or not, we're going through this gate. It's a trap. The Shit. Is coming. Whoa. Okay. Time to run, Senua. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. I can see the light. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oof. What have you done? No. You've lost it. It's over. You're still here. You've lost it. Okay, back up to the light. We're not done. Now it can see you at your weakest. The time you suffered as a child at the hands of your father seemed no longer kind to Dillia. Do you remember that darkness, Senua? The beast is bringing it back. Yeah, Zinbel is my father. Great. Mother. Why did you leave me? This darkness. It's spreading. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Dewey. Then let's go find him. A long way down into Helheim. All the way down there somewhere. And I imagine we'll have to kill Garm before we get out of this place. Okay, we're going all the way over there to the gate. Which, theoretically, will just keep taking us down. Since the stupid bridge collapsed. Almost got out. Should have known it couldn't be that easy. Okay, Garm. The beast is down there. No. She knows the beast is down. Of course I know the beast is down here. I just don't care. I'm looking for torches if I can find them. I mean, there's one right here, that's nice. Into the dark. All right, there's a door back here that needs to be uh, ruined. Still looking for torches I can light. I'm not seeing any though. Oh, hi. You're gonna die right now, pal. And you're next. Uh-oh. Back up. Okay, just look out. Oh, God. Did he just kill me? Not quite, but it's close. Oh, come on, get, ugh. Okay, that's the second time I've died.
And now it's probably just going to take a second while it reloads back up. <sighs> this is going to be a tough one. There's not a lot of room to move around in this one. Small room, lots of enemies. I gotta save that focus when I, for when they actually come charging at me with the whole ghost form thing they got going on. Is it gonna load? It's taking an awful long time. Ah, there we go. Okay. We're back. Ish. Okay, guys, I might need to restart this, so I'm going to cut the episode here for a sec, and I will be back in just a moment. Oh, okay, we're good. It's back. Sorry, guys, long load delay there. Okay, hold on. We know that that's a combat scenario. Let's go see if there's anything else in the area before I go through that doorway. Uh, that would be a resounding no. <laughs> Alright, we're going through the door. I didn't know if maybe there was another... A, a secondary alternate path or something I might need to be aware of. Oh, come on. Senua, get up. Okay, he's down. So, watch out for that one. Look out! Oh, come on, I'm trying to dodge one and I get hit by the other one. Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Focus. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, good, good, good. Just stay aware of what's coming. Okay, careful. Oh, come on! Look out! Back up! Back up! Back up! Get room. Ideally, I'd have loved to kill that guy before, but... I need to stay alive. Okay, he's gone. And he's gone. Good. How many of them are there? Behind you. Oh, come on. Move, 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 move. Just waste him. Okay. Alright, we got this. I'm starting to learn how to fight these guys. They're tricky, though. Whoa! Hi. Okay, I gotta get out of there. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Focus and take him out. Good. Are we done? Oh, thank God. Pick up my torch. <laughs> oh. Alright, now give me that rune. Oh. That was a tough one. Um. Oh, okay. Going up this way. Light it. 
Lighting is good, okay. So I'm willing to bet that my R is going to be a shadow on the other side of that door. Or whatever that rune is. I kind of wonder if those runes actually have historical meaning. Like if that's an actual letter that I should know. There it is. Just had to back up a little bit. Okay, that ought to open up my door. And I'm doing all of this to find a head. Gotta find the head of my boyfriend. Boyfriend, fiance, lover, whatever you want to call him. Love interest. Oh, man. All right, we know what to do. We've done it before. It's just don't stop running. Head for the light and light the torch. But she wouldn't listen. He's doing his best. Good. Well, if I did listen, all of you would just drive me insane. More insane. I keep saying stuff like that, and it doesn't make sense. Okay. Over the itty bitty little ledge. Careful. Nope. There we go. Alright, where are we going? What's back here? Ooh. Story time. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy till that day. And he takes the treasure. Yes, I will. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. There's always a way out. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, story time. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so. But when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Okay, we got the gate symbol this time. At least that's how I recognize it. The lights run out. Okay, so we have to do this thing again because I'm sure that our rune is through that. But I don't know where the light is on the other side. Actually, though, before I do that, I saw over here there's a way to go. What's back this way? Because if this is supposed to be a way back, then maybe I don't have to deal without my torch. Or maybe I do, I don't know. Oh, light, 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 light. What's she doing? She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. Okay, so now... I have to go back. And I'm gonna have to run through. Sorry, I wanna see. Okay, yeah, not that way. Okay, so we go through here, back to where we were. And then from this side, we run through the waterfall, all the way to the right, drop the bridge, and relight the torch. 
I've never had to do that much. All right, here goes. Just keep moving. Don't stop. Good. We're okay. I didn't even realize we'd get some extra light on the bridge. Okay, but now we have the torch. We can go back, and we can go up the stairs. Glad that I did my little bit of exploration there. Hey, I'm going as fast as I can. Quit whispering at me. Stop your muttering. Okay. Now, presumably from where? The other side, maybe? All right, we're going through. We're fine. Right there. There's my rune. Crack it open. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm going back for a minute here. I want to make sure that that torch doesn't go out. Um, I'm all out of time for this episode, guys. I just looked over and saw the time. So, I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> we'll just pause it so I can do this without listening to the whispers. So, thank you all so much for joining me. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of this game. Um, there are, like three milestones left in the game. I think there's like two boss fights and maybe escape from somewhere. Um, I'm just guessing by the achievement listings. Um, so we're not that far off, but uh, I hope you'll stick with me through to the end. I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you all so much for joining me. If you have been enjoying this series thus far, please let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down in the section below. And as always, I'll see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.